Hi again, this is Rick with AmazingAccuracy.com and today is October 8th, 2012. It's currently 2.21 p.m. Chicago time. This is a recap of a video that I posted on YouTube in uh, on September 26th and uh, titled Euro Forecast for Today. So since this is a recap, I'll call it part two. Uh, now that uh, time has elapsed since that last forecast, I'd like to recap what has occurred. Uh, back then on that video, and, and if you haven't watched it, I would encourage you to do so. Uh, we were at this time period you see right here where I'm highlighting with my marker. It was September 26 time period. And I mentioned that uh, there was the possibility that it could go lower for another one or two days. Uh, but that the cycle bottom was due that I, you know, I had it indicated with a two up here and a three down here and a four right here. Uh, the height and, and depth of where I put the numbers are not important. It's, it's the location and time from left to right. So uh, we had the top right here and definitely that came out. And now we can see that where I had it marked as three, we do have that low end and prices had been rising from this swing bottom that was forecasted in that last video and has risen and I said it would it would likely rise into the October 8th time period well so far it's risen to the October 5th which is one day of October 8th today is October 8th and today it's pulling back a little bit right here as you can see this price bar so within a day it, it has risen into that time period as anticipated now one of the things uh, I want to bring out is although that forecast did in fact occur, uh, the cycles did do what uh, was uh, predicted was likely based on my analysis back then in September, that uh, this is still a bull trend and uh, today's retracement uh, is not low enough, it hasn't gone below previous uh, minor swing bottoms like this one right here of of uh, October 3rd so as long as it remains above the low of October 3rd and now we're coming into another very short term cycle turn period here marked by this other red diamond this one here was or was accurately forecasted and now we have this one here uh we would have yet another buy opportunity uh coming off the the high of one of the price bars that form within a day of this diamond here. So uh, right now, the first one would be, of course, October 8th here. Uh, we can we can definitely look to buy above its high if prices break above its high. If prices move down lower, but again, not below uh, the October 3rd low of uh, 1.2888 in the uh, December euro contract futures, then we could be looking to buy above its high and so forth and so on as long as we're within one bar of this red diamond here. So that, that would qualify uh, first the today's bar and then uh, if prices go lower but not lower than here, uh, it would qualify tomorrow's bar. Okay. Overall, because the, the reason why we, we continue to be bullish for the fact that uh, the, the trend is bullish and we're forming these uh, higher swing bottoms and and another thing too is uh back in july um <clears throat> i'm going to bring this up here so let me pause my camera now i'm currently in our private membership forum here uh just for our members only and there's an area here called a market analysis by uh, yours truly right here um and we go down to uh the euro and uh, I had just posted a, today's update um, about the euro, but what I want to do is go down to July 26th here, and because uh, it was a long-term forecast that I had done. Now, right here, I think that's in the camera here. Let me kind of move this over a little bit. Okay, this was a monthly chart that I had posted. Um, let me get the date showing here. Okay, you can see that was posted back on July 26, 1.53 I mean p.m. But you notice my note here, and I said uh, on July 26, expecting major trend to be bullish from July to October. And so getting ready for a new bullish trend in euro. And this is, 
this is a monthly chart and as you can see that the euro was in a multi-month decline uh, going back for one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve over a year it was bearish for a whole year it came down here I found dynamic support Fibonacci for the month of July and uh, it was also due for a cycle swing bottom based on uh, monthly F date calculations and so I had uh, provided this information for our our members so back in July our members were aware that the euro was now going to be turning uh, bullish from July to October and uh, let me get rid of this uh, thing again here and so as you can see um, let me go to the monthly chart here save that okay I'm gonna move that in here you can see I still have my note here it's the same note and uh, what has happened is there's July and sure enough right on time it made a major monthly bottom this is a monthly chart after uh, 14 months or so of being bearish we have been bullish now for uh, two three months now right now the high is September which is just one bar short of October so we've been bullish up until September we've pulled back a little bit but we may be going after that again and, and perhaps even higher so uh, as long as that possibility still exists um, here's the weekly chart and let's see I gotta scroll this camera down again I apologize for that let me uh, okay so you can see here that okay this is a weekly chart by the way and in this weekly chart uh, we predicted the weekly swing top in September right on time that's that red diamond right there but you see now we have another time period here right at the end of a Times square and you can see also that um, we have this potential weekly swing bottom or lower swing top because that's an outside bar for last week but we could possibly lo be looking to go higher here and to make yet another swing top so we'd have a, like a double swing top situation for these two weekly time periods so overall we're still bullish here until we have further indication otherwise um, and here's just some old notes that were sitting up here um, multiple calculations I did that predicted that very top you see here whether this top holds which is currently at a 90 degree resistance here and I discussed it back in September when it occurred so we knew that was coming we knew the retracement was coming so we expected we expected that move down and then as you've already seen my video previously we were expecting this resumption of the trend up again so we have been really nailing this thing from turn to turn and that's what we do within the F dates membership so I thought I'd go ahead and recap this euro market to let you know uh, what opportunity we still have because we could continue to move up uh, to this top even even possibly higher it doesn't have to be I, I mentioned that in my previous video but as long as we still are in a bull trend and we're getting the bullish staircase pattern and it's occurring exactly when our daily weekly monthly F dates are predicting uh, we stay on that side of the market and that has of course been uh, quite profitable as you can see here anyway if you haven't done so already uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, so that you'll be notified whenever I have a new video out because they're always time sensitive also uh, please take advantage of my free newsletter and if you really want a lot more powerful information such as what I'm providing here and and what uh, I have been providing my members, uh, consider uh, signing up for our uh, F Dates membership. We've got various different uh, plans that, for, uh, that will meet just about any budget. So thanks again for watching.